那这一部分的话呢，其实就是练习大家的雅思的这个 listening section 的第一部分的题，就是呃填空题哈。总共有十个空哈，大家看一下。Complete the form below using no more than two words and or a number for each answer。就是在填这个空的时候呢，不可以用呃，不可以写多余两个字哈，数字只能写一个哈。那在填这些空的时候呢，大家需要注意几个点。那接下来就是一些 test tips， 一些小的技巧。那首先第一个呢，就是答题纸上不见得会出现同样的单词，就是说你在 audio 就是录音里面听到那个单词，跟你答题纸上的单词可能不一样，但是其实是意思一样的。所以呢，你要注意听 paraphrases， 就是一些这个改写的词，比如说像类似同义词啊这一类的哈，或者呢，比如说像在那个录音里面你听到的是形容词，但是在答题纸上面。出现的是动词，比如说像 have a lot in common， 但是你听到的其实有可能是这个 similar 这样的词，很相似嘛，对吧？嗯，那要注意听 paraphrase 改写的词。那第二个的话呢，就是问题跟录音的顺序是一致的，就是这个空空的话，其实是跟着这个呃你的这个 recording 是顺序一样的，并不会出现就是最后一道题跟呃这个文章就是你听到的录音的第一段相对应，不会出现这样的，所以你完全不用担心。所以呢，第三点就需要注意了。如果你错过了一个答案的话呢，一定要接着听下去，千万不要因为错过了一个就漏在那里，接着后面就完全听不到了，不要这样哈。那最后一个呢，就是要注意呃填空的词数限制。那 no more than two words or a number， 对吧 ？OK， 这些呢都弄清楚了哈。那大家呢先听一下录音，自己做一下哈。那如果听完一遍之后发现好多都没有答出来的话，没有关系，你可以。呃，把这个视频回放一下，再听一遍，然后呢，再去呃做一下哈。嗯，那接着呢，我再给出这个答案哈，再给大家解释一下为什么要填这样的空。OK。You will hear the director of a childcare centre talking to the parent of a new child. Good morning. My name is Bob Ferguson, and I'm the director of Ascot Childcare Centre. Oh, good morning. I'm Sally Ann Cullen. I made an appointment to enrol my daughter. That's right. I've got the application form right here. Now, first, I need some personal details. So, the family name is Cullen. Is that right? That's right. Now, what about your daughter? What does she like to be called? Oh, her name is Alexandra, but we all just call her Alex. A L E X. Great. As you know, we organise the children into different age groups. There's the babies group, the toddlers, aged two to three, and the preschoolers. They're aged four to five. How old is your daughter? Well, she'd go into the toddler group. She's just turned three. And we always like to make a note of our children's birthdays so we can celebrate it all together if they're at the centre on that day. When was she born? Oh, um, the eighth of November. Fine. And we also find it's a great help to know about siblings. Sometimes a problem at the centre can be related to problems with a sibling. Does she have any brothers or sisters? Yes, a brother, Fraser. He's two years older. So that would make him five. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Fine. Now we also need a contact address. Where do you live? It's 108 Park Road. That's P A R K, Maidstone. Good. Now, last of all, we need a telephone number we can call if there are any problems. Oh well, I'll be at work, and so will my husband. So the best number to call is three four six seven double eight nine zero. Right, and is that a close relative? Yes, it's my mother-in-law's number. We prefer to make a note of how the person is related to the child, so I'll write down grandmother. Yes, that does make more sense. Now that's all of the personal details. We also like to try and get a picture of your child's personal development. Can you tell me if there are any specific problems she's having? For example, does she get on well with other children? Is sleeping a problem? Oh, she gets on well with others, I think, but she does have trouble sleeping. We gave up her daytime nap a long time ago. That's good to know. I'll make a note of that. She can just have some quiet time while the others are resting, if she likes. <laughs> That should be fine. She enjoys drawing quietly. Right. Now, what about other skills? We occasionally take the children swimming, fully supervised, of course, and we only go in a paddling pool as we don't expect them to swim by themselves yet. Does your daughter need a lot of help getting changed? <laughs> no, not at all. In fact, she's been able to get dressed in the mornings for over a year now, so no problems there. That must be a big help for you.
Now, what about the childcare arrangements? Are there any specific days you require? Well, I work Monday to Wednesday, but my mother-in-law has agreed to look after her on Wednesdays. So does that mean that you'll just need Monday and Tuesday for now? That's right. And what about the pick-up time? We offer extended hours for parents who work a great distance away. Hmm. I work until three o'clock, but it takes me about half an hour to drive home. So ideally, I'd like to pick her up at four, if that's okay. That would be fine. Now, is there any other information you'd like? 那录音呢，我们就听到这儿。那接下来呢，先给大家公布一下答案，大家先对一下自己做的对不对哈。好的，那接下来呢，我们呃看一下这个原文的部分，然后呢。边讲边给大家解释填空的地方为什么要填这些词儿哈。那我们来看一下这个 narrator， 就是这个陈述的人说 ，You will hear, uh, the director of a child care center talking to the parent of a new child。就是说一个小孩呢，呃，呃，要去保育园对吧？那保育园的负责人跟这个小孩的。呃，这个妈妈在谈话哈，我们来看一下。The director， 这个负责人就说 ，Good morning， my name is。然后呢 ，I am the director。那就是介绍了一下自己，然后自己是负责人。然后他的妈妈就说 ，Hey， good morning， 我是谁谁谁。I made an appointment to enroll my daughter。那我呢，就是预约好了，想要把我的女儿送进来，就是 enroll， 就是入学哈。嗯 ，enroll 的话其实有报名入学这样的意思哈。那在这里呢，顺便给大家提一下，其实，在准备雅思也好，准备托福也好，那你在平时做这些题的时候，你要注意这些对话里面出现的这些词，有可能你在出国留学之后都可以用得到。像比如说这里的 I made an appointment， 就是说我预约好了要干嘛。那像这类表达呢，大家都可以记下来哈，然后把它们放到你的平时的 database 数据库里面，这样的话你等到用的时候就可以拿出来用了，对吧？然后呢 ？That's right. I've got the application form right here. 那我们这个申请表呢，在这里。Now, first, I need some personal details. 我需要一些个人信息。So the family name is Colin. Is that right? That's right. Now, what about your daughter? What does she like to be called? 你的女儿的名字呢？呃，怎么称呼她比较好呢？那她就说这个 Alexandra, but we just call her Alex. A L E X. 那这里呢？第一题，第一个空就出来了。那如果你知道 Alexandra 怎么写的话，你写 Alexandra 也 OK， 或者直接写 Alex 也是 OK 的哈。Great, as you know, we organize the children into different age groups. 就说呢，把这个小孩呢，根据年龄呢，分到好几个 group 里面。There's the baby's group, the toddlers. 那 toddler 的话呢，就是两到三岁的。那还有就是 preschoolers， 这个学前儿童啊、呃，那是四五岁的。那 How old is your daughter? 那你的女儿几岁呢？然后呢，他妈妈就说 ，Well, she would Go into the toddler group. Uh, she's just turned three. 她呢刚到三岁。那第二题的答案就出来了，三岁嘛，对吧？那我们接着看哈。然后这个 director 呢就说 ，And we always like to make a note of our children's birthdays so we can celebrate it all together if they're at the center on that day. When was she born? 就是说他们想要这个小女孩的生日。那一般呢，这个小朋友们如果当天在这个保育园里面的话，大家就可以给他庆祝生日了。然后呢，他妈妈就说是 the eighth of November， 是十一月八号。那这样的话，第三题就出来了哈。那这个写法有很多种，你可以写。呃，数字 eight， 然后再写 November， 或者把顺序颠到 November eighth 也 OK。那往下看 ，Fine， and we also find it's a great help to know about siblings. Sometimes a problem at the center can be related to problems with a sibling. Uh, does she have any brothers or sisters? 就说，呃，想要知道她有没有兄弟姐妹，因为呃，在在这个呃中心里面发生的一些问题，还有可能跟这个呃兄弟之间的问题有关，这样的意思哈。那就问他有没有，他就说 yes, a brother Fraser, uh, he's two years older. 那他呢比他大两岁。那第四题我们就可以填出来，他的哥哥呢是五岁，对吧？三加二，对吧？那接着，呃、uh, ，director 说 so that would make him five, is that right? Yes, that's right. Fine. Now we also need a contact address. Where do you live? 他想要一个联系的地址。那问他住哪里？那接着呢？他妈妈就说了，这个地址是 It's one o eight Park Road. That's P A R K Maidstone. 那我们在这里就可以填出来幺零八 Park Road。那因为这个题的话呢，它有要求说你的空呢不能超过两个词和一个数字，对吧？所以我们第五题呢就写幺零八 Park Road 就 OK 了。那 Director 接着说 Good. Now, last of all, 最后呢 ，We need a telephone number we can call if there are any problems. 那有什么问题的话，我们想要。呃、uh, ，一个联系方式，对吧？然后说 ，Oh well, I'll be at work, so will my husband. So the best number to call is 说了哈，呃、uh, ，那
她她老公跟她都不行哈。那这个 number 是谁的呢？她就问了 ，Is that a close relative？ 是很亲的，很近的亲戚吗？她就说 ，It's my mother-in-law's。Number 是我婆婆的电话。然后这个 director 呢就说 ，We prefer to make a note of how the person is related to the child, so I'll write down grandmother. Yes, that does make more sense. 嗯，呃，所以说填进去的是 grandmother 第六题哈。OK， 然后接下来呢，这个 director 就说 ，Now that's all of the personal details. 那个人信息方面呢，全部写完了。然后呢 ，We also like to try. Uh, and get a picture of your child's personal development. 就是他个人的这个，呃，这个发展啊，或者发育情况。我们来看一下哈。Can you tell me if there are any specific problems she's having? 她有什么一些具体的问题？那 For example, does she get on well with other children? 就是跟其他的小孩交这个交流，呃，相处的怎么样 ？Is sleeping a problem? 那睡觉是个问题吗 ？Oh, she gets on well with others. I think. 那她觉得。呃，那妈妈觉得呢，她跟这个其他小孩呃，这个相处融洽 ，get on well with。接下来哈，嗯、um, ，but she does have trouble sleeping， 就是睡觉是个问题。We gave up her daytime nap a long time ago， 就是中午呢没有这个睡觉哈 ，daytime nap， 嗯 ，nap 是小睡一下的意思哈。That's good to know. I'll make a note of that. 那我会记下来。She can just have some quiet time while the others are resting if she likes. 就是他可以安静的自己待一会儿，其他人在休息的时候，哈。那第七题呢，我们就可以填 has difficulty sleeping during the night。然后他妈妈就说 that should be fine。She enjoys drawing quietly。她很喜欢安静的画画，哈。那 director 接着说 now what about other skills？ 其他的一些技能，哈。We occasionally， 我们偶尔会 take the children swimming， 带他们去游泳。Fully supervised， of course。那当然会。这个全方位的监督 ，fully supervised. Supervised 表示监督 And we only go in a paddling pools as we don't expect them to swim by themselves yet. 就是我们只会走到，我们只会在那个浅水池、溪水池里面游泳，因为我们还不希望他们自己游泳嘛。呃、uh, ，Does your daughter need a lot of help getting changed? 那呃， uh, 你的女儿需要帮忙换衣服吗？这样的意思哈。嗯。Uh, no, not at all. In fact, she's been able to get dressed in the mornings for over a year now, so no problems there. 那他就说，呃，完全不用她呢，已经会自己穿衣服，早上自己穿衣服已经一年多了，所以完全不用担心这样的问题哈。她自己会换衣服这样的意思哈。呃，那这样的话呢，呃，第八题 development 的部分呢，我们就可以填出来，呃，这个。Uh, is able to dress herself, 自己穿衣服哈、huh? That must be a big help for you. Now, what about the childcare arrangements? Uh, are there any specific days you require? 那接着就说了这个呃、uh, 送到保育园的这个呃、uh, 时间是什么时候哈、huh? 哪些天是需要送到保育园的哈、huh? 然后他就说 Well, I work Monday. To Wednesday, 周一到周三工作 But my mother-in-law has agreed to look after her on Wednesdays. 那但是她的呃这个婆婆的话呢是呃在周三的时候帮忙看，对吧？这样的话其实呃需要她看的话，接着就说了哈。So does that mean that you just need Monday and Tuesday for now? 那周一跟周二嘛 ，That's right. 说到了哈。那这样的话呢，我们呃这个第。九题 days required 是 Monday 和 Tuesday 周一跟周二哈，然后 pick up time 就是这个接送的呃这个时间，接着往下看哈。And what about the pick up time? We offer extended hours for parents who work a great distance away. 他们提供 extended hours 就是呃延长服务，就是如果父母的这个工作的地方离这个保育园有一定的距离，呃，那这样的话可能这个小宝宝还是要。等他妈妈来接他还是有一段时间的，对吧？那我们会提供 extended 延长的这个服务哈。嗯、um, ，I work until three o'clock, but it takes me about half an hour to drive home. So ideally, I'd like to pick her up at four if that's okay. 他是想四点过来接哈。That would be fine. Now, is there any other information you'd like to? 然后就没了哈。嗯，那这样的话 ，pick up time 呢，我们就可以写这个四点 four p.m. 或者 four o'clock. 嗯。都是 OK 的哈，嗯，那这样的话，这个题呢，我们就做完了哈。
。那做完这个，大家会发现，你听到的这个录音的这个信息出现的顺序，跟这个答题的卡上面出题的这些顺序是一样的哈。如果你就是漏掉了一个题的话，不要着急，你就先过哈，然后先把剩下的做完。那等到后面呢，有一点时间的话，你可以稍微回来，稍微想一下他到底说了什么，然后呢？蒙一个答案出来也是 OK 的嘛，对吧？那这样的话，这个今天的这个 listening section 就是这个雅思听力的第一部分的一个题呢，就给大家做了一遍。那希望大家通过这个呢，对雅思的听力的 section one 呢有了一定的了解哈。那一定要注意这个 test tips 一些考试的技巧方面的东西哈。那希望大家呢，就是尽可能把这个老师给大家讲到一些重点词汇呢都记下来，然后多读呃这个。课程里面出现的这些文章，然后呢，要扩充自己的 database 哈，你的这个数据库，大脑里面的这个 linguistic database， 你的语言数据库。那等到你呃去这个考试的时候呢，就会有输出，像写作啊、听呃这个口语的部分的时候呢，你就可以这个练习的多了呢，你就可以从这个 database 里面取这些东西出来，脱口而出的这个效果呢就达成了，对吧？我们今天的这个学习就到这里啦，我是小鹿老师，我们下节课的时候再见，拜拜。